Hi everybody. Do I have a story for you? And it involves Israel. Alright, here it is folks. Golan Heights was originally annexed from Syria in 1967. Well, because we've been talking about Syrian oil folks, I thought I'd bring you this one. I found this one out of Anonymous, and it paint a wonderful picture as to why Syria is a target right now. Well, Israel just found oil in that Syrian territory of the Golan Heights. Isn't that funny? Oh yeah. And due to Russia's bombardment plan in Syria, I guess Israel decided to start mining. So, this is the story, folks. I'm not going to share everything with you involving Genie Energy and... Jacob Rothschild and Dick Cheney and Rupert Murdoch, James Woosley, Larry Summers, Michael Steinhardt, or Bill Richardson. I'm just going to go ahead and get into the story for you. I'm going to go ahead and get into the story, and basically, as I am, you're going to have to Read some of this for yourself. Some of it falls directly on the 1933 Glass-Steagall Act. Some of it a little bit more up to date in 2007. But the basic story is the following. The occupied Golan Heights was a breach of international law. Israeli authorities presented the agreement to Genie Energy Company through the Golan Heights in this year of 2013. As soon as the United States contributed to the instability of the Syrian government, gee, I wonder who paid for that, Israel. And in 2013, folks, Israel did what it does best. Genie Energy started stepping into the Golan Heights. The Army technicians employed 72 kilometers, built a boundary wall with Syria, upgrading it to a metal barrier that features barbed wiring, atmospheric detectors, motion sensors, night vision, infrared cameras, land scanners, and something similar in the West Bank. However, folks, the capital of Syria has a lot of problems, and it's very important for oil companies. So now we get to the meat and potatoes of what is actually going on in Syria. Oil. It's all about oil, folks. There isn't a war that was fought in the last 200 years that hasn't really been about oil. Syria has lots of it, and everybody wants him. That's why they want him dead. That's why they want Assad out. And basically, Israel handed the Golan Heights over, commending the Israeli legislation and legal system, and governing the Golan Heights. Uh, I'm reading something from about middle of this. Uh, this coming from about the 1980s. I apologize if I just jumped into that without prior information, but the United Nations Security Council approved resolutions that announced Israel is required to retire from the territories engaged during the 1967 battle with Syria, even the Golan Heights. They have yet to do so, folks. And now, folks, 
to not add they got oil they got lots of oil image source half like oil and gas say findings are so far out uh revealed as a very robust oil bearing state oil drilling site seen on the Golan Heights. So now you know what Syria is about oil. Everybody wants their oil. His, uh, ISIS has their oil up and running. And basically all these international types, all these Jews, are pissed off because the Arab militia army or whatever you want to call ISIS, a terror army, is pumping out all the Jews oil. That's basically what everybody's mad about, folks. And the Jews want oil. And now that Israel knows that Syria has oil, folks, they want to sod out and they want it now. So Israel just found out that Syria is literally like the Saudi Arabia in that specific area. And if they could take out Assad, they could literally work an agreement where they get like 50% of the oil rights. So you do the math, folks. But you and I both know what this is really about, oil. And Israel just discovered Syria has so much oil, it's ridiculous. Thanks.